Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wokey, here with some more Dreyla Lost. And I'm here, and this time I'm not actually summoning on anything. Uh, which is a welcome change of pace, I'd say. Because I realized I think every single last Dragalia Lost video I ever did was one that was a summon video. Oh, I actually don't have enough time. I'll be damned. 47 minutes. Um, it was a summon video every single time. So I feel like there should be actually me, some of me playing Dragalia Lost on this channel. But I'm also going to show you why... I really like playing Dragalia Lost, but sometimes I wonder if it's actually, like, entertaining to see. Let me go back. So, let me start by saying this is the event. This is Summer Part 2. It's an event facility event, and these are the worst to kind of, like, show, because let me show you. This is what I've been basically doing. I don't really play all that much. The only time I play is when I need to go into co-op for the tree, and I'll show that off a little bit later. But, oh, let me, yeah, let me just use all my little shitty... Stamina items. Doesn't matter. Um, this is basically all you do in these kind of events is that you get a team. I mean, this is what you should do. Not a lot of people can do this if they're in the beginning stages, but I'll say they should be able to now because it's super easy to get to this stage now. But once you enter, like, I'll say mid-game area, like, once you're, you've got a pretty beefy team, you should be able to just auto it pretty easy and once you auto it these ability these event facility events are basically just this it's a lot of just watching the AI or not even watching it a lot of the time when I'm doing this I'm like doing something else I'm watching a TV show I'm doing what it, the only time I'm ever looking at my phone screen is to look to click replay because in this one first run I'm not gonna touch the the phone at all just to show my point. I'm not even going to activate Dragon even though I should because that gives me more points. But this is the basic idea is that you want to get your team so good that you can just do this and just non-stop grind over and over and over and over again. Just because um, if you were to actually try and grind this out by yourself manually, I assume it would take, it wouldn't take forever because that's not, it would take longer because you wouldn't be playing on 2x. Uh, if you can play on 2x, actually I wonder if there are people who can just straight up play on 2x speed, because that sounds crazy to me. It's so fast. See, there you go, there's the ward. But you want to get your team specifically set up so it can just constantly do this non-stop. Like, just a non-stop flurry of uh, auto, 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 and just keep playing it that way. So when it comes time for, like, whenever there's an event like this, it's actually very hard for me to, like make a video out of it because it's literally just me you know I sometimes have trouble figuring out what to say in a Dokkan video and I'm actually playing a Dokkan video I'm not even playing this I'm just kind of looking at it right now in my normal um, grinding of it I wouldn't even bother to look at the screen until after the event was done I wait to hear the chime of something I'm gonna activate dragon just so I can get some bonus points and activate that see it like that's the only time that, that was the only input you just saw for me is me doing that and me doing that everything else is just the AI and I don't really need to do this because again the easiest way to grind this out is to just you know have some space in terms of your time watch a movie watch something else on the TV screen and just let it go wild man just let it go look at it it's insanely easy so, uh, specifically for these kind of events, it's very hard for me to actually think of, like, what to show off. Because I could show off units, but I'm not in a, um, comfortable enough, like, environment. Like, I want, I, obviously I would like to do them again, uh, because they're fun. And, um, when I'm performing them right, they're great. The problem is, is that in the current setup I have, in which I have no house, is that I have shitty internet. So therefore, I can't edit anything. If I could edit and actually collect all the videos I want and re-record and then be free to record at any time, then it'd be a different story, you know what I mean? But that's not my current story. My current story is just this. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate, but that's just kind of what you're going to get from me for the time being. I try my best. I absolutely do. So I figure at the very least, I should at least show off Dragalia Lost and what it does. This is what I assume most players are doing. If you manually are doing this all the time, I don't know, either you're lower level or you just like, you, you enjoy 
to grind a lot more than I do. See, I respect Dragalia's ability to say, Hey, you're probably busy. Just put it on auto and get it done. Like another game I play, Fate Grand Order, takes forever to do anything. I, it's literally like, I want to say, uh, Fate Grand Order takes about 70 hours in a month to play, and I don't get everything. Dragalia, in the meantime, is maybe plays around 20 hours a month, and I'm able to get absolutely everything I want. Like, no joke, no stops. It's super easy. It's super... Um, it's super great because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to get all these um, sticker stickers, summon tickets to actually let me get do things like save up for uh, gala gala banners and to spend on them. And for a, I don't know, I just really like that Dragalia does this. A lot of people could see it as like, oh man, are you even playing Dragalia? And I would say. I am. I'm still setting up this team. I still had to grind everything to get to this point. But now that I'm at this point, like, Dragalia is saying, like, there is no crazy endgame grind. Really, the stuff that's like crazy endgame grind actually requires you to be, be to be playing. But once you get high up there, you don't really need to be able to play at all. Like, obviously, if I would um, try to do the high dragon... Um, difficulties or even harder difficulties that require like full-on co-op to do I would not be playing auto but if it's something like this just put it on auto and just go go at it man there's absolutely no reason for one I would say every gotcha in existence needs an auto mode and it needs a 2x speed mode <laughs> like anything to make grinding faster because the one thing that sucks about gotchas is the grind so if it's possible just to keep it on, at that point it becomes a cookie clicker. You know, it's a little click, 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 click. I don't even have to click, I just kind of look. Alright, that's enough of that. Let me show off the other thing. This is the actual boss battle. And here's another reason why I say this is actually very hard to show off. And again, the one thing I would actually show off is the um, super hard difficulty thing. But it's also super hard and difficult, and I can only do it once I have a level uh, 30 facility. If I don't have a level 30 facility, then all I'm doing is like basically doing nothing because the enemies hit so hard. They're nonstop and constant. Wow, this person has uh, Luca. It's not Summer Luca. Wow. They're dedicated. Here goes. Can you fucking go? Thank you. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of Dracalia Lost. This is, yeah, I mean, at least this is it during the summer. And I'm not even showing off cool stuff like the Astral Raid, which the Astral Raid is also cool, but it's all co-op stuff. I actually, I actually should judge. I should have just showed that off. But I feel it's disingenuous to just kind of show off stuff sometimes. I don't know. Maybe I'm just full of shit because I do that for Dokkan all the time. But the difference is, is that there's a history of Dokkan being like, Check this out, man. It's Piccolo and he's fighting Android 17. And this is a good excuse for me to make this video. And for some people, it's enough for them to go like, okay, I want to see him use this team to fight this person. And for some other people, it's just not, oh, I actually unlocked the extra. Okay, let's actually do extra. And then we'll call it a good old, call it a good old video, I'd say. No, I don't think we can actually. See, it's tough. Like... Um, at this point, it'd just be better for you to be like, I don't know, just hear me out. But this is the game. This is Dragalia Lost, and I love it a whole bunch. I love playing it. I love it. I love a lot of things about it. The only things that annoy me are things that are like hard to actually program out, I guess. Like, I wish there was a way for you to keep your facilities leveling up, but then that would require them to... I don't know, disable the, um, they don't want you to do that. They want you to constantly be logging in and checking and, you know, I don't know. I hate that, especially when I'm asleep. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm fucking asleep, it's not fair that I get punished for sleeping. That's how it feels like. All right, time to activate this and done. See, look, it's nothing because this boss dies so quickly because every single person here has the facility giving them a super crazy boost so this thing dies insanely fast look at him die this damn tree i want to say we spent more time um just looking at stuff than we did actually fighting it 
Okay, and with that, that's Dragalia lost. I just wanted to do a video on Dragalia because I felt it was unfair that I only ever did summon videos. It's like the opposite of Dokkan, where Dokkan I never do any summon videos. Dragalia lost is nothing but summon, vid is summon videos. But that's because they give me so much. Look at this. Five tickets, bro. In the span of this video, I have gone in uh, basically a multi for just doing, for fighting a tree for 30 seconds. That's insane. All right, then. That's everything. And that's today's video, and I hope you enjoyed at least me talking about Dragalia Lost a bit for a bit. I like talking about Dragalia Lost for sure, so. Until next time, for whatever thing I decide to record next, goodbye.